are new here, my name is Georgia and every single Friday I bring to you a brand new vintage-ish video. On my channel you can find vintage-ish fashion, pin-up style, maybe a little tutorial thrown in here or there, uh, a lot of chit chat. Today we will be making a V-Day beret. Okay, I realise if you are actually into vintage you'll think I mean the actual V-Day, which I don't. I don't mean Victory Day. Today, we are going to be making a Valentine's Day beret. See, it just doesn't have the same thing to it. If you love all things vintage and pin-up, but are wondering maybe where to begin, or you're just here for the chit-chat and my glorious yellow background, well, my friends, I highly recommend you hit that subscription button, turn your little bell on the notifications, and you'll never miss another video. Ah. Uh, Berets, you know I love them. I wish I could wear them all year round without getting a sweaty forehead. Most of the berets that I have in my collection are of course a solid colour, but this Valentine's Day, I thought it would be rather nice to make a love beret. Okay, admittedly, I'm not really into the whole Hallmark holiday of Valentine's Day. I mean, why do we need just one day to tell people that we love them? Also, I feel like people totally hype it up. If they don't get a card or if they don't get like a Valentine's Day treat, they're like, nobody loves me. And any holiday that makes you feel sad, is just rubbish in my opinion. However, I am a huge fan of loving yourself, so I thought, well, why not make yourself a Valentine's Day present? Make yourself a Valentine's Day beret. I purchased these berets from eBay. They were £3.50 each. You could do this to any beret, no matter what the colour. You don't have to go for the red or pink. I couldn't choose, so I went for both. I went for a classic baby pink and a classic Valentine's red. There's just something about a red and pink clash that I love. Honestly, it's not just this time of the year that I wear red and pink. I love red and pink together. I just think the colour clash is just so eye-catching. So once you have your berets, you are going to need some felt hearts. Now, of course, you can do this yourself. I was lazy, admittedly, homeschooling this week has just got my brain and fried it. So I just got these off eBay because they were easy, but you could definitely make them yourself. Now, these are described as die cuts. Um, these are by Groovy HH on eBay. Um, they are just large hearts. I got powder pink and I got cerise pink felt. They come as six in a pack and I think they were like 99 pence or something. Now, of course, many people own a pair of scissors, so if you do, then you can just get a sheet of felt and you can make your hearts um, any shape. You could maybe draw the outline on the felt first and then just cut them out, but these just came easy because life. Other ideas of grandeur that I had for these amazing berets were kind of like stick-on hearts, gingham hearts, pearl hearts, like literally anything with a heart, of course. You can just totally make this beret your own. I just went for the easy option. Um, I think it'll still really look effective. Definitely don't think you have to just go for the plainer option. If in doubt, embellish it out. <laughs> I want to know, do you celebrate Valentine's Day? If so, what do you do? Are you a hopeless romantic and maybe love chocolates and flowers and teddies and all the shebang? Or is it just another day to you? Leave me a comment below, I would love to know. I think I'm probably kind of like a bit in the middle. Now here is a very cute fact that not many people know about me, but my dad used to send me a Valentine's Day card. He would send them to my two sisters as well, and every Valentine's Day we would get a Thornton's lolly that it was like in the shape of a chocolate heart or something, with a Valentine's Day card that said, love dad. <laughs> so my dad really was my first ever Valentine. Now I am married, so I generally do get a card from my husband, um, or my little girl makes me one which I think is the cutest. Honestly, I can just take it or leave it. I'm not fussed. Okay, let's get cracking. So what I'm gonna do is take some thread and a needle. Okay, I've gone for the red thread. Red thread said Fred said dead. And you're just gonna thread the needle. This is the awkward part of the video where I can't thread a needle so I sing to distract you. Ah, ah, okay. Um, I don't really know if there's a correct way to sew. Um, I've just been doing it this way since I can remember. But basically I just make the thread into like a double kind of loop like that. Oh my gosh, gee, they can't even see this. It's thread. I don't know if you can see that, but basically it's a double kind of thread. Super professional. 
just gonna cut it there with my teeth and get your beret get your beret I haven't had very much coffee today can you tell I would always recommend trying these on before you start to place your hearts. Just because it's personal preference, some people like the hearts right at the back, around the sides, it's really up to you. But if you don't try it on, you'll not know which way you want it to go, basically. So now I have my beret firmly on my head, I'm just going to get some of these. Now these are quite big, I bought them quite big on purpose because I thought, well, it's less work. <laughs> no, I just thought it would stand out a bit more. So as you can see, you can kind of like have a play. You could maybe have them to the front or you could have them to the back. So I think I prefer mine like this. I'm just gonna take it off my head very carefully. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place a few stitches in them just to keep them secure. Okay, nearly finished, nearly finished. I mean, obviously I cut most of this out because who wants to see 15 minutes of me sewing? Not many people. The reason why I didn't use a glue gun is because I just kind of feel like if I had changed my mind or maybe wanted to do something else with the red beret, maybe I want to wear it not for Valentine's Day or I just want a plain one, I can just unpick all my stitches and my beret is just like new. Whether I think if I hot glued it, I'd probably leave a mark or something. Just my personal preference, if you are not a sewer or you can't be bothered sewing, get that hot glue out, baby girl. Dada, it's done. It's done, I love it. Obviously, as you can see, I have just left this side open. I thought what I could do is maybe like pad it and kind of like have it a 3D and maybe then put a stitch in. Um, for now, I'm happy with it just like loose. This technique would also work really well. Say if you had like some um, felt initials like G4C forever, like that's my husband's name, by the way. Um, that would be so cute. Obviously, if you are way cooler than me, then fine, you know, you can just stick to the hearts. Um, but also you could literally put like anything. I mean, felt on a beret works really, really well. It's a great texture. It just works with the wool on the wool kind of like feel, I guess. Now for the reveal. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so cute, it's so cute. <gasps> yes, girl. Oh my gosh, I love it. I might wear this all year round. So there we have a very simple but effective love beret. If you make one of these, please tag me because I would love to see what you make. Nobody else will have a beret quite like this one. Probably not as badly sewed as this one. And, and I think that's what I like about making your own stuff. It's like nobody else has that exact one. I am getting major Emily in Paris vibes from this as well. I'm just obsessed with it. Like I can't stop playing with it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for being here with me and sticking around week on week. It just means the world. If you don't know already, well, I'm on social media because that's where everybody is. So you can come and follow me at Georgia Harrop. I will pop my links in the description box below and also on the screen, so come and say hello. See you next Friday for a glorious, fabulously vintage -ish video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share!